Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here, and I believe I have a Dan the Wolfman exclusive street fight for you. A violent, bloody elevator headbutt fight that my friend Ray Garcia from Henzo Gracie, Vietnam sent to me. So a bloody headbutt elevator fight in Vietnam. And uh, guys, I'm the combative and street jiu-jitsu instructor, as you see here on BJJ Fanatics. It's four and a half hours long. It's often on large sales during the holidays and whatnot. I got 16 five-star reviews. Here, eight five-star reviews on effective self-defense. And uh, if you guys want to learn how to fight and how to defend yourself, I suggest you check that out because I'm a bouncer, an armed guard. I have a lot of real-world experience and world travels. I have four black belts, including in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I fought pro MMA and sparred the top pro fighters and instructors for over uh, 20, 30-plus years. So uh, here we will get on with the fight right now. The good guy is in white. Defending his girl's got a couple dogs. You'll see at the very end. The guy in blue is the piece of shit dog kicker. So guy in white tries to summon his inner John Wick, even though he just started training Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. He's just a new white belt. So here we go. See the guy in blue already landed a good headbutt to him, and another. He's a butter, just like a lot of guys in England. This is in Vietnam. You see some weak punches to the body. He's jacking him up, pushing him in the corner there. He slips under it like a duck under, which could go in a standing arm triangle. I have videos on how to do that. I have thousands of videos. Look at all my playlists. And now they're going to talk and they'll go, uh, hey, man, you need, why are you kicking the dog for? Why are, you, why are you kicking the dog? Oh, and then he hammer fists him in the face and it's back on. Right hook misses, but he gets him in kind of a standing front headlock position there with the underhook there, like you could maybe go for an anaconda. Oh, the guy gets his head out in a headlock, slips the headlock. Good guy in white lands a left jab. Blues turtling up, tying up. Now we got some uppercuts landing. Got to be careful not to break the. Oh, but the headbutter gets through three good headbutts in a row there, and he's busted open like a stuck pig. Guys, headbutts are really dangerous. you got to control the distance in a fight. Either be outside, outstriking the guy, or get inside, or dominate in like a plum clinch. You'll learn everything you need to. We land some good uppercuts there in my Combatives of Street Jiu-Jitsu DVD. If you're in Vietnam, of course, go train some Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu at Henzo Gracie Vietnam with Ray Garcia, wonderful Ray experience NYPD cop. I have a full interview with him and all kinds of crazy goodness as a NYPD cop and his years of experience and bodyguarding my daddy, Steven Seagal. Now he's trying to get the back, but he's too far on the side. You can't really get a rear naked guys, unless you line your front to their back. You got to get spinal alignment, a right up hook, right uppercut lands. Now he's framing with the face, measuring distance, a little left, right, left, right, little Don Fry Takayama style. Now he's framing the face, controlling the distance, landing that right uppercut. Pushing him in the corner here, dominating position in any fight. You want to dominate position, but he's busted open there under his eye from those nasty, nasty headbutts. You know, does it look all cool like uh, elevator fights, Captain America or whatever? No, it's going to be down. It's going to be gritty. Hopefully you can control the distance a little bit better, control the strikes. Now he throws a round kick to the body wearing flip-flops. Not a good idea. He's very lucky as he got knocked down there with a punch. He didn't land his head and you see the dogs waddle off there in the background. Guys, thumbs up, share, subscribe, and consider. Guys, you really, you don't know. Guys always think they know how to fight. They absolutely do not know how to fight. It's not a magical gift. You got to train. You got to learn something. Get my four and a half hour combatants of street jujitsu DVD on BJJ Fanatics to protect your butt and get in a gym. Take care, everyone. Thumbs up, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments down below.